Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Pokefan Bree here. Today I just wanted to come and show you a little bit of my collection that I have. Most of the cards in my collection I got at card shops or on eBay, a couple of them, like this Zapdos Moltres and Articuno. I met up with someone off Facebook Marketplace. So it's really cool to collect cards and then send them in to your favorite grading company to see what grade they would receive. I really enjoy it. This card I got out of a pack that I bought on eBay. I thought for sure it was going to come back Gem Mint 10. It is a little off-centered. I think that's what dinged me so much. It came back in eight. Anyways, before I sent my cards in, I wanted to go with the best company. So I did a lot of research, rather whether I should go with Beckett or CGC or PSA. As you can see, I have a lot of PSA slabs. PSA seems to be the gold standard right now for Pokemon cards. This one got a six. It does have some issues, little dings on the back of it. And this one got a seven. It also has a couple little issues. Anyways, the Beckett slabs, I like them a lot. They're a little bit thicker than PSA slabs. I really like the label. They have the subgrades to let you know why you got the grade you got. Well, PSA does not have that option. So I've done one submission with Beckett, well technically two. The first card I ever had graded was this one. I got this off of someone off Facebook Marketplace also. I really think I should have gotten a 10. Absolutely perfect. But they say it's really hard. So I've done three submissions with Beckett so far and I have yet to get a 10. So I wonder which card will finally get the 10. I really like swirl cards. I have a couple of those. I showed my Pikachu collection. This is my Charizard collection. A couple of swirls on this one. I really like the colorless Pokemon cards and recently, within the last couple of years, I just became a big fan of Japanese cards. I think they're beautiful. I thought for sure this one was going to be a 10 too. We also pulled this one out of the pack. Alright, one lucky subscriber today is going to win this pack of Shining Fates. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna show you right now my trade binder. This is a cool binder that I bought at a card shop. I like to support my local shops. So the first cards are all Japanese. I would trade any of these cards. Let me know which one you would trade for. This is a Chinese card that we got. Pretty cool. Mostly all my cards are in mint condition. I got them out of packs. I would not trade these Togepi cards. I'm collecting Togepi. If you have any cool Togepi cards, let me know. Dragonites, Lapras, this one's super cool. Couple trainer cards, mostly vintage. These two we bought because we want to get them signed by the person that voices James.
All of these cards are for trade. I need to add a couple more. These are my first edition cards. There's a shadow list there. All first editions. German. Growlithe. I hope one day to get one of these cards signed by du Super Duper Danny. Shadowless. I want to trade all of these celebration cards. Hopefully for more Eevees. Some classic, some Team Rocket, base set, jungle, Ponytop, the Topps Chrome card, I would trade these three, I think this one's super cool with the hollow pattern. Some Eevee Lucians. 